It is 3.45 a.m. Getting started today. Um, yeah, getting excited. Uh, let's see if I can... 5.30 a.m. Sun is starting to rise and seems like I'm the only one who... I'm the other person who's risen. And I think that peak right there I think that's the fucking goal let's go so it's uh 6 a.m out here hiking up the pass right now and wow looking really good i mean i was kind of hoping to be up at the pass right at the base of the scramble for that mountain not a gazzies but uh you know Gotta take it all in. This is pretty freaking sweet. Oh man, I gotta stop talking. So it's like 6.20, and I'm right here. Basically the uh, the pass, the Bishop Pass, and that's the mountain that I'm trying to go up. So uh, I think the route's hopefully on the backside because most of that stuff looks kind of hairy. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna keep, probably take a break soon and then uh yeah i'll figure out a bird route up that thing because that looks sick it's almost 6 30 and we're right here at bishop pass and uh that is the mountain we're looking to go up so uh we'll see how it goes and uh you know let's take a quick look at the other side of the valley we've only been looking at one side so let's just see you know, this side of the, over here, this is where all the real big climbs are. So, yeah, pretty freaking sweet. So it's about 7 a.m. and we're about to head over and start, you know, looking at possible routes for this summit attempt. I kind of see two sort of diagonal lines going up the mountain, but uh, yeah. Getting real excited. Feeling good. And yeah, let's see how this goes. This is uh, the route that I'm going to take up right up through this chute. Looks like we have a little bit of talus, but you know, I think it's going to be very, very doable. I'm really excited. Uh, and then here's a little pano of everything else that's going on right around me. Pretty freaking sweet. Anyway, gonna take this up slow, easy, and uh, yeah, just gonna enjoy the ride because it's gonna be sick. So just came up this little bit, uh, finished basically the entire scree area, and uh, now we have a little bit more class three. Um, so I'm, you know, making good progress. Taking it slow and steady. Gonna take a little break right now just to catch up with everything make sure i'm doing okay because man it's easy to get winded up at this altitude so you know gotta take it slow anyway pretty sweet just came up a little bit further and does not look like we have a whole lot more to go i think that's the top up there but you know taking a little break because we have a little rock color change so i feel like that's motion for uh for the change um man you know i think what i mean the altitude is definitely tough uh, i think some of my earlier recordings were probably all delirious maybe this one's gonna be freaking delirious as well but uh yeah i mean you know pretty pretty tough handling the altitude i mean you know, whatever. Um, I think it's just one thing to keep in mind when actually going for real climbs. You know, altitude, taking into account. Kind of another thing that I've noticed as well is that I have literally seen like two people this entire time. And that was like, well, it was still night, like in the first two miles, they were on their way out. But, oh my god, it's been so serene. You know, just me up here. Pretty sweet. Just climbing a little bit. 
getting close to the top. And wow, just, you know, sometimes you gotta look down at how far you've come. It's pretty nuts. Pretty nuts. But the scramble hasn't been bad. Cannot complain. All right, catch you at the top. One final pitch. That is the peak right there. Let's get it. Here we are at the top of the world. Holy crap. Man, this shit is so cool. Top of Mount Agassiz. And you can really see so much of the northern eastern Sierra from here. So freaking cool. So freaking cool. So I actually came up from like over there. But as it turns out, I'm pretty sure that the way down is just down this gravel slope because <laughs> there was some actual rock climbing maybe possibly involved with the end there. Anyway, it's 9.30 and uh, probably going to have a snack and a drink and then start heading down. But god damn, this is so cool. Alright, I'm, right, I'm an idiot. So, that peak ran right there. That's Thunderbolt. That is uh, the North Palisade. And then the one over there is Mount Sill. And then I don't really know where the like other Palisades are. I think they're kind of on the other side because North, uh, as I understand it, is that, you know, points that way. That's kind of due north-ish. So then it, if that's the North Palisade, then the other Palisades kind of have to be that way a little bit. So you can't see them as well. I think they're, I don't know, it's part of like that range, you know, kind of along there, but whatever. Dude, these ridge lines are freaking sweet. As you can see, I have not left the peak yet and, you know, about 10 minutes have passed. So yeah, kind of, uh, kind of enjoying it up here. Anyway, I don't know if I have any other notes. This is just sick. This is so cool. Ugh. I'd like to point a few things out for those of you those are the folks that are keeping track at home. So right in front of me is actually the Palisades. Um, all the way on the right is the North Palisade. And then kind of down is the, you know, sort of middle Palisade. And then, you know, the lower one is the, uh, the other one is, I guess, the South Palisade. Uh, but you can kind of see the U right there. And then kind of coming over. So, yeah, we have... North Palisade, Middle Palisade, South, I guess. I don't know. Anyway, coming over, we have Thunderbolt Peak here. And now, and I think that's like the last prominent one. I'm not really sure. Anyway, coming over a little bit. Um, Mount Good is way down there. That's a popular climbing spot, I think. And let's see, what else am I missing? Hmm. I feel like, uh, I don't know, Mount Thompson and the Clyde Spires, whatever the hell those are. Those are somewhere. No, those are actually that way. Somewhere that way. I don't know. Anyway, I think the coolest thing is just seeing the Palisades right there. You got, you know, north, south, or middle, south, and that Thunderbolt Peak. I think it's really cool. That would be sweet to do that ridge. Just, you know, come start here and then literally just traverse this ridge somehow all the way up and over and then down the other side. I think that would be an insane, insane thing to do. Cool. Uh, well, this might be it for Q. Uh... Now it's time for the hardest part of the day, which is uh, heading down. It is 
9 39 right now i'm gonna have a quick snack and have a quick drink and then start making my way down sweet all right all right all right i know i keep saying i'm gonna go down there's one more there's another thing i want to point out see that little line down there that line kind of right there so let me zoom out a bit there that line is at eleven thousand feet so that just kind of goes to show you what a uh, three thousand feet of uh, elevation gain looks like from here um yeah kind of cool all right coming down the mountain a little bit haven't gotten too far but uh yep oh looks like we're just gonna go down this boulder field which will be real fun um be a little careful probably have to put the phone away soon uh, but yeah hopefully it'll be a nice uh nice little little walk down pretty exposed kind of sweet show weed so I have to say I'm a little befuddled right now because this is like almost the semblance of an actual trail, uh, which, you know, maybe would have made getting up here a little bit easier. But uh, you know what? I like the way that I came up and, uh, you know, we'll live with that. Anyway, about halfway down probably and uh, excited to get all the way down and get on with it. I'm gonna be a superstar. I can't get a job, so I live with my mom. She had take her money, but not quite enough. I make my own fun in grandmama's basement. She says I look fat, but I look fantastic. Come back down to my knees. Come back down to my knees, gotta get back, gotta get to me. Come back down to my knees. I know I screwed up the lyrics. Look at that one lonely giant boulder. Rolled a little too far from the rest of his friends. Damn, that must suck. On the other news, saw two more dudes. Uh, up a little bit earlier, that was cool. So, you know, brings my total human body count up to four, with two of them being like these two guys that I saw like right at the beginning that were like on their way out. So, really, I don't know, not a lot of people out here. So, pretty freaking sweet, if you ask me. Pretty freaking sweet. I figured I'd take a sec to look up at the actual way up and feel like looking at it up right now you know you can understand my confusion how i might have gone the uh, wrong way anyway i well i would call it the right way because it was sweet but you know the technical not cur not tip the not typical way of going up that's the way i went up so the actual way to come up and down is like over here. So you can see, like, looks pretty treacherous. Um, and the way that I went was sort of around the backside, which I, you know what, I'm gonna stand by my decision because I think that it makes sense the way that I came up in, in my thinking because it looks like less of a slope. But as we saw, a little bit more climbing and probably took longer than it should. But whatever, it was fun, it was cool. Had a great time up there. Now time to walk it back. I'll walk it out. And we back, and we back, and we back, and we back. We are back on the trail, heading on down. Um, about six miles left, and it's 11.30, but six downhill miles, so. I think I'm gonna rip through this. Might, might even get a little jogging. Who knows? Anyway, uh, yeah, it's funny. It's, I feel like this video thing has gotten a little weirder even when I've gotten less delirious, but we'll see how it goes. Anyway, I'm gonna take a few photos on the way down, but for the most part, you're gonna just ride it out.